Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Fuzzman Series here, bad in the video guys with NBA 2K19 Realistic 2020 Rebuild. And today we're doing the Detroit Pistons, and that yeah, should be a fun team. I've done, I've done quite a few re Pistons Rebuilds actually in the past. And uh, yeah, to start off this video, you can see we got Bone in the G League, we got Kyrie Thomas and uh, Mikhailik in the G League. Now, I think we only have, yeah, we only have two years of club control. Uh, for you know each of those players Beasley just got assigned to this team a couple days ago you got Marquise Morris and of course Don Maker so if we take a look at the rotation we're gonna be doing for this first season we got Derrick Rose 33 I'm making him the starter uh, we'll see what he can do I'm not expecting a whole lot from this team so we're making him the second scoring option behind Blake Griffin should be a fun should be fun to watch uh, Derrick Rose Blake Griffin I mean, it'll be a play I think it'll be a you know a solid 8-7 seed uh, I just don't think they're, they're not gonna make a whole lot of noise they don't have the depth I think to you know do a whole lot so Rose uh, with 33 Luke Kennard uh, up and coming player 23 years old 29 minutes Seiko Dumi we're gonna give him the starting role right away 19 years old 30 minutes a game Blake Griffin 37 Drummond 35 Reggie Jackson on the bench with 27 Mark Keith Morris with 21 Bruce Brown with that ugly looking headband 15 minutes and Langston Galloway 13 uh, with injuries uh, Beasley and Maker will probably end up playing of course, Snell and Frazier aren't going to play, but uh, since proficiency, 7 seconds is what I decided to run. I could run like balance, but I think 7 seconds would be kind of fun. Um, I think it matches Rose, Griffin, and, and Drummond the best, which is really all that matters. So if we look at team training, all these are balanced, and then home intensity is high. And then player mentorships, you guys can see and pause these if you want. And we made it all the way through. Let's look at our power rankings here. Lakers are number one. We are ranked 16th. And 2K Sports has us at 13. Okay. Mark Spears at 10. Interesting. Well, let's see how this season goes. Then in the first season, we go 42 and 40. Did you guys watch my Trailblazers rebuild? Uh, it was like the same re same record. It was, I think we lost like uh, 37 games or something. So pretty similar. John Ranarchy, the year six major. Of course, he's all the problems MVP. Draymond Green. Okay, uh, Aaron Gordon most improved, Mike Malone coach of the year, all NBA teams, maybe, maybe we can see if Blake Griffin made one, CB3 on one, Zion Williamson is a little bit hurt, uh, unfortunately we do not get anybody on any of these teams, do we get Seiko Dumi, we do get him on the all NBA second, or rookie team, he gets 11 points per game, 5 boards, 5 assists, actually pretty solid numbers of steal, 2 blocks, 44 from the field, 33 from deep, so a little more in the shooting category offensive wise, but uh, not bad numbers, he's actually the 6th seed with that record in the Eastern Conference, so uh, if we look at our stats, now the unfortunate thing is Luke Kennard is gone for the season, torn ACL, unfortunately, so yeah, we're gonna. I think one way or another, we're gonna have to make a big move in this offseason because Griffin and Rose are not getting any younger. As you can see, we're 16th in scoring and actually not too bad in defense. Uh, we were 11th, and then point differential, we were 13th. Uh, player stats. So I think we're gonna have to make a, a indecision and try to make um, a big move. So Drummond, 15 rebounds a game, five offensive boards and 10 defensive boards. Blake Griffin with 11 boards as well, a double double, five assists, phenomenal season for Blake Griffin and then Darrow is 17 points two boards only five assists uh, 49 from the field 43 from deep Reggie Jackson on the bench for 13 points 44 from the field 33 from deep and we saw Seiko Dumi's numbers Michael Beasley I played a little bit while Dumi was hurt and while Luke Kennard got hurt so yeah actually here's Luke Kennard's numbers shot 38 from deep uh, Michael Beasley put up some solid numbers. Unfortunately, three one percentage wasn't there, but six boards, eleven points, it's a good scoring burst. Marquise Morris, oh my gosh, bro, why can't he never shoot threes? Twenty-seven percent, I think that was. And here's Langston Galloway, nothing special. Bruce Brown, eh. Thon Maker, eh. <laughs> so, really, besides our top few players, there's not a whole lot to get excited about. As we're down one zero, I'd be excited if we can just steal a game. We got one at home, and 3-1. Can we get another one? Okay, so we lose in five. Let's see who wins the title and wins it all. Well, somehow the Raptors made it all the way, and they put up a good fight. As the Lakers beat the Raptors in six. Uh, let's go ahead and advance to the offseason. I, I don't know how they did this. Go league meetings. Get that rule in here. Reject these. Uh, I don't care. Reject, and then draft lottery. Replace this with that. 
Hopefully next year we won't in 2K20 won't have to do that. Let's go to the actual draft lottery, see if we have anything we even own our own pick. And we are pick 18. So decisions, decisions, decisions. We need a new trainer, Carlos Lopez Fire, Randy Martin coming on in. New assistant coach. Trent Peterson is there, so I'm gonna get him. Uh, of course. <laughs> Wouldn't be a video without getting him. We'll get a new assistant GM as well. Kind of clean house a little bit, but keep Dwayne Casey because I think he's a good coach. He just had some unfortunate stuff in the playoffs. Um, he's a coach of the year, and then he gets fired. So, um, yeah, let's go to the draft, and let's figure out what do we want to do here. If we look at this team, let's look at actually the salary cap table while we're at it. So we got Blake Griffin's contract for another year. He's got a player option. We got Drummond on the player option. We got Tony Snell on the player option. Unfortunately, we got to get rid of him on that type of contract. So if he does accept, which of course he will, I'm going to try to move that. Um, and package it just to get something to maybe get some room in free agency. I don't know. Uh, Andre Jim with a $40 million cap hold. So this is going to get interesting. Josh Smith's 5.33. Um, I don't know why. I guess that's unfortunate. I don't want to lose $5 million there. But if we look at our actual trade pieces right now, uh, can I trade like Morris and our pick to maybe move up? Oh, I can get Kevin. Bro, <laughs> they give me Kevin Love. <laughs> okay. Um, that would be nice, but. I mean, Julius Randle, we got some, a young player, Ricky Rubio, Rocco, Steven Adams. Okay, we already got ourselves a center, so, I mean, that those are some good deals. I mean, what if I throw another first? Can I get something even better? Uh, that's not, it's not looking like it, but what I, I have an idea. And I got this, I'm watching a Pistons um, rebuild. Oh, it looks like a max. Can I do minimum <laughs> That's That's all they want. We're going to be trying to see if... The Pelicans would give me Drew Holiday. Um, I don't know if this is a good. I, I don't know if this is a smart idea or not. Pro, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. I, I really want to do that though. I really do. Cause I'm trying to think of like vets that I could add to this team that wouldn't have like that high of trade value, but I could get, um, you know, relatively easily. So that way we could build a solid team, you know, quickly around Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose, and try to you know get these guys a ring. All right, Mark Eve Morris, our 18th pick. No? All right, well, how about this? I throw in a future second. No? This loves trade over. I don't know why I have that on. Okay, so there they go. I, I offered a lot. Let me go ahead and turn trade over right off real quick. I always have that on in case I have to make it like trades in the beginning of the video. Uh, and then I always forget to turn it off. Because that is part of my like normal settings I have. So if we go to trade over, I turn that off. So now, what, what pick did I get? I got pick 10, right? So... Yeah, I have this guy. I don't know who you are, but he's he's kind of good. So I guess he's gonna be a good bench piece for us behind Sekou. Do I don't know where he came from, but uh, unless I don't remember seeing him. So pick ten. Gave up uh, quite a. F Ooh, of course we get a couple good power forwards. Scotty Lewis, Nico Mannion, Josh Green, Tyrese Maxey, Isaiah Mobley. He's a beast. Jaden McDaniels, bro. I get him a lot though. Samuel Williamson. I have not drafted him before. He can play shooting guard. He's six seven. Louisville shooting guard would probably be what we might want because I might trade Luke Kennard I'm probably gonna trade him so if I'm gonna get I'm gonna get him because I have an idea in my head um, of what I'm gonna do James Wiseman which makes no sense to the Bulls LaMelo Ball um, all right so let's go to the rookie signing we're gonna, of course we're gonna get this overseas guys so Williamson is a 75 same overall I believe as uh, we'll get we'll get back these guys Luke Kennard, I'll, I mean, he's hurt right now, so I don't think it'll let me trade him. Okay, let's go to qualifying offers. Tom Maker for $4 million. I don't know. I guess I'll offer to him. I can always just renounce the rights on him if I want. And we can let him walk. So, vet Mike Conley. Hmm, here's the because here, I want to get some veterans on this team to try to build around. Drogic would be... I really want to get, like, a Drogic or an Isaiah Thomas. I don't know why Isaiah Thomas, but... Uh, we still got to bring back oh, Reggie Jackson. Oh man, I bring these guys back. Tim Frazier, I, I really don't care. Reggie Jackson, though. Now, how to four year deal? I will do this. Uh, not much more than that, though. So, small forward, power forwards, anything we can get that's good. Reggie Jackson, Links and Galloway. I guess we'll read out the right sign. Don Maker. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Might as well just try to bring him back, I guess. So, we'll just do that. That's all set. So now we're in the actual free agency. And let's just look at the team now. 
because we need to fill in some holes. We got one, two. Definitely not trying to start with Makai. I'm not even sure I say his name. Um, or Kerry Thomas. Luke Kennard is hurt. Is there a way I can trade him? Because I would love to trade him. We got a lot of trade pieces on this team. I forgot about Bobby Brown or whatever his name is. Bruce Brown. So now <laughs> we got some, you know, we got some younger players. Like, I don't know how good Bruce Brown's really going to be. He's 77. He's all right. Restricted free agent next year. We do have Tony. Oh, I got Tony Snell to trade. So right, let me find somebody real quick. Player progression. Blake Griffin goes down. Uh, Andre Drummond goes down. Derrick Rose goes down. Reggie Jackson goes down. And then some of the younger players do shoot up, like Makaya Cook, uh, Kyrie Thomas, Saquon Dumia. A lot of these guys going up. I did sign Wayne Ellington to a, a little bit of a contract there. I'm going to be trying to trade them, so don't worry about that. Uh, Leonard, uh, Luke Kennard, or not Leonard, Luke Kennard went down. He's, he's just going to be out for a long time. Michael Beasley, who I did re-sign, uh, went down. But, uh, you know, we might give him some decent minutes this year. But uh, let's go to training camps. Training camps, we're going to be sending Segudum yet to untapped potential. And then I think we will also send our new rookie, uh, Samuel Williamson as well goes up to an A and then I think our third and final one will go to uh, Should I go Griffin or Rose because I want to you know what we'll go Blake Griffin stays at A So we're gonna be doing this deal with the Oklahoma City Thunder We're gonna be sending Tony Snell, Reggie Jackson, Wayne Ellington, Thunmaker, a first and a second round pick They countered with this and they want to give me a lottery pick so I'll take it and Darius Baz only has one star We'll take Kevin Hervey and Devon Hall and Chris Paul to one year deal uh, player option, of course, but we're trying to we're trying to win now. I know he's going to regress. I tried getting Drew Holiday. I tried getting DeMar DeRozan. just did not work, so we're going to agree to that. Uh, this is definitely a win now move. Um, so now we're looking at the team. we got one, two, three, four. I got to decide on who I'm going to play here. I was supposed to actually trade Kyrie Thomas, I think. One of them, but I mean, they're both like very similar if you look at their stat or their you know ratings here. So I'm going to have to decide. These guys will be in the G League, uh, both of them, and then... We got there. We got a bunch of power forwards. I was gonna play Beasley, but I guess not now. Kevin Hervey. Well, one of these guys is gonna be playing center, so it's gonna be Hervey. He, and he goes down to 74 only, so that's not too bad. Uh, so we got a nice rotation. Then we got Basley getting some good minutes. Probably we'll see. I'll have to figure out the rotation because I still want to play both these guys since they're both 77s. Two deals I'm looking at right now: Josh Koji. And Dante DaVinci, we get a first round pick here, which could be nice. Uh, he put up six points per game last season. He has one more year of club control. Same with Akoji. What did he put up numbers wise last year? Oh, he did good. Okay. Uh, can I do this like this? And not include Beasley? I mean, actually, the original view is probably the best one. Because, I mean, I, I, still, I just don't want to give up Beasley. Because you do get Bates at the op as well. But, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're just going to do this. They agree to that. And now I think we are we have what we're looking for. Because um, Luke Kennard is going to be out for this season. Bruce Brown is going to be our backup here. These guys are going to be in the G League. Getting really, really good for the next season. And, yeah. I think we, you know, we have our roster set now. Then um, let me send a free agent real quick. Rotation for the season. We got a CP3 with 30 minutes. Josh Koji with 28. Sega so Nubia 30. Griffin 36. Drummond 35. Rose 29. Off the bench is a six man. He's going to excel there. And then we got Bruce Brown 15. Darius Basley 12. Kevin Hervey 13. Kyrie Thomas 12. And uh, I'm I don't know why Terry Kevin's is only two more, two to four more months on his suspension. Uh, you know what? I think we're just going to. Mm, we'll probably just do Blake Griffin the no preference. Although I'd like it to be Derrick Rose again, because that worked out well last season for us. But uh, should we run seven seconds again? I don't know. What fits Chris Paul the best? Balanced? What fits Blake Griffin the best? Let's see. Seven seconds or pace and space? We'll run pace and space. See, seven seconds still fits the team the best. If you look at this, fits Chris Paul the best. Blake Griffin, Drummond, Akoji, Doombia. It's the best system for us, I think. So let's go ahead and simulate. Actually, wait. Uh, all this other stuff is the same. So for the power rankings, uh, we are ranked 16th by NBA.com. 2 guys Sports has us at 11. Mark Spears has us at 16th. Giannis wins the play of the year. Most improved is Jared Culver. Mike D'Antoni gets coach of the year. And looking at the All-NBA teams, of course it skips over for some stupid reason. All-NBA third team, all defensive teams. And I don't think we got anybody in any of these teams. And uh, yeah, so that is what it is. 
we are the three seed this time we went 47 and 35 so we have a chance we, we have a good chance to make some noise here uh, actually rank fifth in power ranking so we look at our uh, team stats first uh, we were actually sixth overall in the league of course the Nets with KD and Kyrie were number one in scoring our scoring was not so hot uh, 17th in the league but uh, defense was number one definitely kept us in the games and that led us to fifth in uh, point differential sorry Blake Griffin with another stellar season 21 points actually a little bit of an upgrade just 21 points every freaking season of his career uh, nine boards a little dip there but uh, five assists a steal 47 from the field 36 from deep there goes 16 points um, so very similar numbers last year a little less assists 51 from the field 38 from deep so a little less there uh, Chris Paul follows up his you know good season in OKC with 15 points nine assists two steals 45 from the field 38 from deep so not a bad season from him Drummond uh, with 14 and 13 Dumia 11 and 5 and 5 so you know continually progressing 35 from deep as well so working on that Josh Koji very nice numbers from him from the shooting guard spot uh, very pleased with that although the, you know the field goal percentage could be a little better but Bruce Brown off the bench with six I uh, carry Thomas uh, did actually shoot 38 from deep Kevin Herbie five points and five boards not bad numbers for him and shot 34 from deep Michael there's me there's Basley with four points uh, two assists two boards 46 from the field 31 from deep Michael Beasley one point I guess Tyreek Evans must have hopped in a game. <laughs> Luke Kennard's still out for a couple more weeks. So let's go ahead and simulate this current round here. Let's see if we can get out of the first round, man. Had not gotten the first round in a couple videos. Luke Kennard is back. Uh, no. <laughs> come on. Let's not lose. Let's not lose. Come on. No, come on, bro. We're not losing 3-1. to one. We're going Simcast. I don't care about Luke Kennard. He's a 70 overall. He's buns right now. Because he tore his ACL. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. I got to do all this stuff. Uh, get the shoes open. Play some good defense. And let's go win this freaking game. Alright, good second quarter. Bad third quarter. Gosh, we're getting killed, bro. Why can't we win in the freaking first round? This is taking me off. Two videos in a row. I had a really good team. Three seed. Three seed. I can't get out of the first round. This is absolutely insane. We I built a good team with vets. I thought I could at least get to the conference final. Something. That's a good team. Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, the or excuse me, Andre Drummond. I don't know what to do now for the final of the season because these guys are all, they're getting really old now. So uh, I don't know if I want to run it back or not. We'll find out. But of course, Katie Kyrie, you're going to get to the NBA final. Let's see where they go. Second, like the Denver now gets to the three seed in the West. Looks like Katie and Kyrie are going to get themselves a ring. Kevin Durant in your finals MVP 94 overall after coming back from an ACL or whatever that injury was. Uh, who cares? Kevin Durant. Uh, let's reject oh crap reject all these make sure they're there draft lottery pretty sure we gave up our pick so we don't have it anymore and yeah they got our pick via Detroit staff signing Dwayne Casey uh, I don't want to fire him because of that but I kind of want to trust the process I don't know I don't know if that's Dwayne Casey's fault I mean it, it, it honestly could be it really could be because we can't get out of the first round I don't know what it is no idea. Let's go to the NBA draft. Honestly, I don't, yeah, we have no picks. What am I doing? <laughs> the draft is useless for us. Uh, Ricky signing. Of course, we're not going to have anything there. Team player options. Let's see what we got. Sigdumia, Dervis. Definitely want to bring him back. Hervey and Basley. Yes, please. So some of these young guys get, did get better. Of course, Chris Ball's going to accept. So, yeah. PG actually declined. Wow. It's always exciting when he declines. The Bruce Brown. We'll try to bring back all these guys. Luke Kennard, I guess. That ACL injury really just set back his career, but hopefully we can still bring him back. Sammy Williamson is going to be 81 overall. That's huge for us. Andre Drummond we got to bring back. So there goes uh, two year team option. This is the last season, by the way. So we'll do. I don't. That's a lot of money for Drummond. That is a lot of money for a, a rebounder. And um, but we're just going to throw money at all these guys. Two year team options for all of them. So we get all these guys. Um, I gotta bring back my boy Beasley. Bruce Brown. I don't know what's going on with all that stuff. I gotta just bring sure. Get these guys back. So get them both on one year. Oh, wrong one. Okay. 
one year deal for Luke Kennard. Why kind of why he's so ugly? Dang, bro. All right, let's see if I can find my boy Michael Beasley. Should be somewhere. What do you watch him put it up like really good numbers? Okay. So we are going to match a deal, I guess, for Kyrie Thomas. We're gonna sign. There goes Andre Drummond, uh, Brutus Brown, Luke Kennard, Michael Beasley, and call it a day. Let's make sure we. Oh no, no! I skipped over it. Dang it, bro! Dang it! Why do they gotta do me like that? So we got Kyrie Thomas, a Koji, Luke Kennard. Maybe I. I don't know what just happened. I, I think I got him. I don't know. So, Williamson is probably actually going to start for Doombia. For being honest here, this guy is actually kind of good. Brutus Brown, I'm, you know what, I might need to make a big move again. I might need to make a big move for either the shooting guard or small forward position. And, yeah, Kevin Hervey, we got Basley and Beasley. So, yeah, let me see if I can find a trade real quick. Alright, so he's made a deal with the Miami Heat for Justice Winslow. Maybe not the smartest idea. All right, but Luke Kennard, that overseas guy, and Josh. I oh, I did trade Josh Koji. That was that was pretty stupid. Because Koji put up really good numbers for us last year. That was that was not smart. All right, well, Winslow is gonna be going to the shooting guard position though. So I don't know why Tyreek. I gotta. I don't even care why he's. I don't know why he's on the team. Um, yeah. Well, we still have this problem here of who's gonna play because we got Dumbia. Williamson and Bot and just me Bruce Brown. So is there a way I can get my boy Josh Goji back on this team? That would make a whole lot of sense though, but Justice Winslow I I screwed that up. But because Bruce Brown I think has like a no trade clause or something for some reason, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Let's pretend like I didn't trade for I didn't trade Josh Goji, I just <laughs> traded Bruce Brown and Sheldon Mac for Josh Goji and we got him back in the team. Now, there's also a trade I want to do here. I did just sign Pat Connington. We're going to trade him away. Uh, I just want to pick. They give me Mo Bamba. For... <laughs> uh, that's such a good deal. I know this is completely unrealistic. I'm just trying to trade away some stuff here. Luke for Luke Kennard back? Honestly, dude, we'll just <laughs> get all of our players back. Uh, should I just do this? And eh, I'll just keep Pat Connington on the team. Let's just go to player progression. And see what we got. So that was a little, some cheeky move might be. But anyway, CB3 down a little bit. So we're going to try to run this back with these guys regressing quite heavily. Yeah, quite heavily. At all. <laughs> Michael Beasley's down to 69. And now let's go to the training camp. Getting into training camps, we're going to be sending uh, Sigu Dubia to the first one. I think it goes up to an A, finally. And then we're going to be sending... Uh, send, oh, let's send Williamson again. And then should I send a Koji? Who should I send here for this third one? I'm trying to think. It would freaking work for once. But I, should, I could send Baisley. I could send Koji. Uh, I could send maybe Winslow. I don't know, depends. Who do you think? Uh, let's send Winslow. A minus. Rotation for this third and final season. CB3 28, Justice Winslow 26, uh, Samuel Williamson 30, Blake Griffin 33, Drummond 30, D Rose 28, Seiko Dumi 26, Baisley 15, Kevin Hurry uh, 9, and Kyrie Thomas 15. I did send uh, Okoji to the G League. I'm probably going to you know mess around with that a little bit later where he's not in the G League. I was trying to debate whether I should send him or Kyrie Thomas because I kind of forgot I had both of them. So, um,. Yeah, it's kind of a tough decision to do there. Can I put Beasley in the G League? Would he? Oh, I hope Beasley's going to ball out in the G League. Anyway, let's go to power rankings. See what we got for this season. We are 20th, uh, 11th, and Mark Spears has us at 21st. The final season, Giannis wins MVP. Evan Rowley, Rookie of the Year. Julius Randle, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis wins for the year. Most improved Michael Porter Jr. Monty Williams gets coach of the year for the Suns. And you can see we went 50, excuse me, 45 and 37. Not, you know, not too bad, not, not exactly what I was expecting either, but I think that still gives us enough. Why is my core maker that good? Um, you know, I think that still gives us room to probably have, a, you know, a, a good shot at doing something as Samuel Williamson does make the all-rookie first team. Great to see that. And, uh, yeah, so we are the sixth seed this time. So, a little bit of a step down from last year. Probably should have taken a different route in this video. Probably should have went a little younger and started to do some stuff like that. Maybe trade away some of these guys. And uh, that just did not work out. As we go 23rd in scoring. Phenomenal. Number one in defense. 
but ninth in point differential. So similar story to last year. As Blake Griffin scores 18 points a game, uh, regresses a little bit. Samuel Williams in very nice year. 38 from deep, 2 CB3. Yeah, he, he took a big dip. Andre Drummond a dip. 12 boards only rose. Big dip. Doombia, the exact same numbers almost last year. Just a couple more boards, but a little less assists. Shot 40 from deep, though. Uh, Josh Koji, 9 points. 40, okay. A little drop off there on the numbers. Just Winslow did not do I I should have went for somebody else. Uh, she went for like Josh Richardson or something. Kevin Hervey uh, did not. Yeah, these guys did not do much at all. So I'm actually kind of curious. I want to know what Michael Beasley put up in the G League, but I don't know if there's a way to do that. So let's see. Make the first, I gotta get out of the first round. I have no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Simcast, Simcast, baby, Simcast cheese. We're not getting uh, eliminated here again. This is not gonna happen. Uh, you went neutral. I to focus. I don't care. Tight, tight. Let's do it. Let's go win a freaking ball game, please. 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 Please, bro. Please. Come on. No. I screwed up this rebuild, bro. Just like all the other Pistons rebuilds I did. I should just trade Blake Griffin and get it over with. Uh, come on, baby. Please win, please win this one. All right. So we dominate this game. We get down 3-1, baby. Well, crazier things have happened in my rebuilds. Let's do it. Actually, I completely forgot to do this in the last video. Maybe maybe that's the key. I don't know. I'm doing the freaking smother defense. I don't care. Smother defense. Oh, we need to freaking score the basketball. Oh, my gosh, bro. We're getting destroyed. Play. Get shooters open. Defensive focus. Limit perimeter shots and play very physical. And run. Shoot at will. Just, just get shots up. I don't care. Yeah, we got eliminated. <laughs> That's so bad. 114 to 79. So bad. I I spent like an hour and a half on this rebuild because I was out here trying to make some good trades, trying to get the vets on his team to win now. When really I should have just went for some younger players, but still went win now mode at the same time while getting young players and preparing for this third season with young players. That's what I should have done. But they didn't work out that way so i'm, I'm sorry y'all i did not expect it to be that bad uh with another first round exit that's i can't that's two videos in a row i haven't even got out of the first round so hopefully in the next one i can get out of there i believe i'm doing the pacers and i think i think the pacers have a really good team it's zion it gets a ring wins fun as mvp but i think i think the pacers have a good team and they have some solid pieces now let's see what did they even do um okay they got jerry jackson jr they got some bonus they have a good team um, okay, and this is just a really weird version of their team, but I think with the Pacers you can make some noise with them They're gonna be a solid team. They're always you know good uh, it, It's staying in games and stuff obviously they had a little bit of roster turnover But we'll see how that goes and then after that I believe it's the Nets or something like that So we'll see how that goes, but anyway, let's look at playoff stats and call it a video and we were the worst Oh my gosh, bro <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's look at player stats Chris Paul, non-existent. There goes not a, Yeah, I, I, this was a poorly constructed team. So hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you enjoy like a video, subscribe for the I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.